Hi there, welcome to step number 5 of this course and things are really looking exciting at this point. In this video I'm going to talk about search engine optimization because this is really important if you want to get free traffic from Google, from Bing, Yahoo and so on. But especially from Google because they are the kings of the search engines. They are the ones that receive the most traffic from them all. So when it comes to this you want to put most of your efforts in trying to get good rankings with Google so you can get more traffic. Also you should see this has a long term investment on your website because you might follow all of the tips that I offer through to you throughout this video but it will take time first for your website pages to actually be indexed by Google. By this I mean for them to actually appear on their listing. And it will take even more time for your website pages to get a good ranking with them so you can get some good traffic. Anyway, now I'm going to just give you a basic idea of what exactly is the most important when it comes to do search engine optimization to your website. But honestly, I cannot give you all of the details because probably not many people know about them besides the people that work for Google know exactly everything that it takes for a website to get a good ranking with them. Okay, so at the moment I am in Google, front page, and let's say that I want to search for something. So I want to search for, let's say, apples and oranges. Okay, what you see actually, actually see over here is what we call in SEO a keyword. So this is what exactly we call a keyword. Now I'm going to press Google search. And as you can see, a bunch of pages related to oranges and apples or apples and oranges actually appear over here. Now how exactly does Google know that these websites are related to what I'm actually searching for? How does that happen? It's because they have something called crawlers. These are robots that go throughout the internet to each website and they find for specific keywords so they can know exactly what the content is all about so they can put in the appropriate listing of Google. So that's exactly how everything works. Also when it comes to getting good rankings, basically what you are trying to accomplish is at least the first page on Google. Because this is where the most traffic comes to, especially the first three places that you see over here. This one, this one, and this one below. These are the, the websites that people usually go the most. Because quite honestly, how many times you go to the second or third page of Google? Probably not many times. So when it comes to SEO, this is basically what you are trying to accomplish. Also, there are places that you can insert these keywords that I've been talking about that have more importance. One of them is on your meta title. Meta title is exactly this line that appears first. You can see the keyword apples and oranges appearing over here. So once the crawlers went to this website, they saw the meta title, they saw this keyword, and they thought, well, this has something to do with apples and oranges. Also, you can see on the description, once again, the keywords appearing. Even though on the description, it's not so important for you to have the keywords, but it's more important for you to have something that really describes your website uh, well. But Still, the keywords, as you can see, they appear bold on the description. So this is something that you can use to actually attract more people to your website. Okay, so now let's get to this website from Wikipedia. Okay, you can see that once again, the meta title appears over here on the tab. So it appears on both places. And the other place that is really, really important for you to put your keyword is over here, right in front of your domain name. So these are the two places that you should always put your main keywords, the keywords that you want to rank for on Google, and which later on I'm going to explain how you can do this. So you got to put your on, on your meta title and also on this extension. And when it comes to your content, I mean, if you're writing, for example, about apples and oranges, then it's just natural for you throughout the content, just write it, just put apples and oranges. So you really don't need to think much about, oh, I need to put my keywords over here so I can get better rankings and so on. 
And many times you don't want to do that because you want to do an article that is readable. Always remember that people go to your website and it's more important for you to have an article that is readable, that is easy for people to read instead of just trying to get uh, good rankings with Google. Okay, so as you can see, apples and oranges just naturally appears over here in a natural way. It doesn't, I mean, it just makes sense. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so that's all about how you can, where you should actually put your keywords. And next I'm going to explain how you can do this in WordPress. So see you soon. Okay, so now I'm going to see on my website, and for me to actually be able to do that, I need to install a plugin called All-in-One SEO. So at the moment I am in my back office, and I need to go to my plugin section, and just add new. I'm going to search for All-in-One SEO, which is this name over here. I'm going to press search. And you can see that it's the second plugin that appears on this list. So I'm just going to install now and activate it. This is really a fantastic plugin when it comes to this. So once this is activated, you can see that, you, that a new section appears over here and you want to click on it so you can actually configure the options that come with this plugin. Anyway, most of the standard options are pretty much ready for you to to start using this plugin. Anyway, there are a few things that you actually need to change, which I'm going to show to you now. Anyway, if there is an option that I don't talk about and you want more information about it, then you just need to click on this icon and you can see that it expands and you can read more info about it. Or you can even click on this help link and you can see that a new window just pops out with more information about each section that appears on this plugin. Anyway, once you come here, the first thing that you want to do is actually add your meta title to your home. If you remember exactly what your meta title was, previously it appears on the listing of Google and also over here on top. So this is, in this case, it's for your front page. So for your meta title, you want to insert your important keywords. So I'm going to Insert mine. Okay, so I'm going to insert over here uh, this keyword. It can be how to make a WordPress website because I'm thinking that certainly this is something that people go to Google and they insert when they want to do a WordPress website. So you can insert more keywords if you want. You can even put a small bore and put some extra things. So you can actually put over here a small bar to separate it and it looks good and you can put some extra keywords. This is just an example so you can get a better idea. Well, on the home description, uh, you want to put something that describes your website well, and you can actually put just some a few keywords because it will appear bold on the listing of Google, and that's something that will actually attract people to your website. Okay. Okay, when it comes to keywords, I usually just disable this option. I really don't consider it important because Google doesn't consider it important. And also, it's not just because of that. Let's say that someone goes to your website, you spend a lot of time trying to find good keywords for your website. And anyone can actually go to the coding of your website and just see the meta keywords that appear over here. And it will be something like this. So someone goes to the to the coding of your website, it will get something like this, and you can see over here, meta name keywords, and over here will appear all of the keywords that you actually inserted. And you really don't want that. I mean, if you have so much effort, you don't want people to go there and just take your keywords for their own website. So it's just something that I disable. Okay, all of these options over here are pretty much good. 
You can actually choose if you want to capitalize your title or not. It's really up to you. Anyway, over here below, there is something that I usually change is just to delete this block title. This is the format that will appear on your meta title. This means that your page title will appear first, the, the one that you actually customize. And then you will have, you can see over here on top, a small bar and the name of your website will appear afterwards. I mean, if someone goes to my website, they see the huge logo saying Pro Tutorials, then they know exactly that they are in Pro Tutorials. So it's just something that I delete for everything. Okay, so I'm going to do this and just leave it this way. Okay, you can actually, if you want, and I really recommend for you to go and get a Google Webmaster, and you can, once you do that, you can connect over here using this option. You just need to click on this icon and follow, and follow the steps that appear next, and it's pretty simple. You need to create an account with them and then just connect over here. Okay, so once this is done, you pretty much have everything that you need for you to get started. So you just need to press update options. Okay, now that is set for all-in-one SEO. Once this is done, you want to actually change your permalinks. So you need to go to settings and you want to choose permalinks. This will allow you to actually put the keywords on your URL, which I explained previously, it's really very important when it comes to optimizing your website. So in this case, you have the default one and you want to select the last option. And over here, you want to write exactly this. You want to put percentage, post name, percentage, and this small bar appearing. So this is exactly what you want. And make sure that you don't misspell this or else it won't work. So just, just save changes. Okay, so now I have my front page optimized. Once I refresh my website, you will see that the meta title will change. As you can see, you cannot see uh, neatly because you just have this small tab, but you can see that it actually changed. And now you can actually configure your posts. So let's go over here to one of my posts. Okay, let's say that I want to actually go to this one. And you can see that now below you have some new options appearing. This will allow you to customize each post or page individually with the keywords that you want, with the description that you want, which is really important so you can get better rankings on Google and more traffic to your website. So I'm just going to show to you how you can do that. Okay, so I'm just going to copy over here this title because I'm going to use this for my meta title. And over here you can get, you see a small example of how it will look like once this appears on Google. And actually, it's just, um, it just gets the information from uh, my post. So if you actually don't configure, it will just get the information from your post. It will get the title and some of the tests that appears initially. So over here, you want to put your title, a custom one, and you want to put a custom description. So in this case, it's about asking about WordPress plugin. I'm going to talk about... to configure okay so I'm just putting a small description okay so once you have this done you actually want to go on top where you see permalink and you just press edit and this will allow you to pretty much change the extension that appears over here and you want to put your main keyword so I'm going to put Ask Email WordPress plugin because if someone is actually trying to find this plugin, it's certainly something that they will insert on the search engine. So I'm just going to press OK and you can see that it changes. So once you have this configure, you can also see some of the options below, but you really don't need to change this. 
this is something that you can use if you don't want this page to be indexed by Google or not follow and so on. But if you want to just SEO, this is pretty much all that you need to do and it's pretty, pretty simple. So once you have this done, you just need to press update and it's really that easy. So you want to do this for each page and post that you have in a website. Always remember that each page and post that you have can actually have a, a ranking on Google. So you really want to seal everything so you can bring the massive traffic to your website this way. Okay, so that is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And in my next video, I'm going to show to you how you can build an email service for your website, which is really, really useful. So stay tuned with ProSite Tutorials and bye.